Any of your friends been reaching out to you or, um, you know, are you in touch with anybody? Here and there, yeah, I hear from them, but I don't, yeah, I've made a lot of friends. I mean, do you think this serves as, you know, kind of, I don't know, a wake-up call to people in Hollywood that, you know, glitz and glamour is not all it's cracked up to be, or um, that anyone can kind of end up in, in bad times? You never know when, where you're going to end up. Every day is different. Every day hands you a new set of cards. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and how are you handling your cards? I think I'm doing very well, actually. I mean, it may not look like it on the outside, like what society would consider like successful or like happy or like doing well, but I think that with what I have, I'm, I'm doing the very best I can and I think that it's bringing a lot of really good stuff to the circus, so I'm excited. And have you heard from Jeremy at all or? Uh, I guess it must be hard to be in contact with anybody. I don't really have anything to do with him at all. He's not a part of my life whatsoever. Right. And uh, have you, how, how has it been out here though? Are you concerned for your safety? I mean, obviously there's COVID going around. Not at all, uh-uh. Okay. No, I think I built my immune system up pretty strong when I was younger, so I'm not too nervous about that part. And then as far as like danger with people, I. I, I've like paid my dues, I guess I would say, <laughs> so far, in the places that I've gone, and um, I just do the right thing as far as you know, like as much as I can. Right. I don't step on anyone's toes or disrespect anyone. Treat people the way I want to be treated is what I do, and it seems to be working. So. Now, is there any shelters that have been helping you? Or is it just um, completely just living on, on the street? I just live. I just do the streets completely because. I don't know, when you get into the shelter system or when you get into, into any kind of like a room, it's kind of like a roommate system. There, There's a lot of control and if, I don't know, when you're an adult and someone's controlling you, it's just like, it's not okay, it, things don't work out. So I just stay out of that because I don't want to torture myself mm -hmm. with something that I don't need to torture myself with, you know what I mean? And has your family reached out or do you have any family? Yeah, I have a lot of family. And how um, do they feel about it? Uh, you know, I'm not sure right now. It's a, it's a crazy situation. <laughs> um, would, you, would you accept help from them if they gave it? They know me well enough to know that I'm fine and I'm doing what I need to do. And There's a freedom in that, right, I guess? Yeah, I mean, they just, there's no, like, question or thought in my mind that would lead me to believe that they're gonna come out looking for me like, oh, you need to do this, and oh, poor you, and oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't do that, I don't play that game. Right. And they don't either, so, um, yeah, they're, they're fine.